like you don't want me to stay. Shake it off. Just like the countdown commercialized. Really gotta get up out of here and go somewhere. Shake it off. I'm feeling like a fool. I'm 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 a
I was just um, finishing writing notes about you. Um, where are, where do you live? Where are you based out of? Um, Orlando, Florida. Okay, cool. Um, I'm in. I'm actually in Maine. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, how so how is the like weather? There. Yeah, I was gonna ask you the same thing about the weather. Um, here it's always hot, like blazing hot. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me more, like about what your your goals, what you're looking for, because you've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. 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 Um. So yeah, tell me more about like your goals, kind of the your history with it all. Um, what you're looking for. If you have any questions about it? Um, and you can just just email me, and I'll um respond like immediately. So let me know what. If you have any questions on it, I'll get that over to you right now. Um, and then we can kind of go next steps from there. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much for reaching yeah, out. <laughs> it was awesome chatting. Um, and we'll talk soon. Okay. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. Okay, so that meeting went well. I'm so excited. I still have a lot to think about before I decide whether I want to sign the agreement or not. But y'all, it went so well. I'm so happy. Oh, I can't wait to tell you what it is. But anyway, y'all. My couch, y'all, is finally coming in. I scheduled for them to deliver on Thursday. Today is Tuesday. So that should be coming in as well. I actually want to go out to shop for a couple of pieces from my living room. And by the way, let me just show you guys what my living room looks like right now. So yeah, this is what my living room space is looking like. And... As y'all can see, it is still very much empty. I barely have anything in here. So yeah, I did order a few pieces online and I want to go shopping for a rug for this space. I'm still on the hunt for that. And I already got my TV stand here. I'm going to probably open this later today, but the first thing that I want to tackle before my actual sofa get here are my curtains. As y'all can see, all I only have are the blinds that I'm working with. I still need to have my curtains hung up. I'm aiming to get that done today. I already have the curtains and everything ready to go. I just have to actually hang them up on the wall. So I don't know if you guys can see, but I already have the curtain rod hung up already my dad came in a few days ago and i had him install the curtain track system and i had him install it way high up in the ceiling because i want to have you know really tall ceiling curtains that's the vision that i have for this space and yeah so I'm going to aim to get that done today. I'm actually going to insert a clip in this vlog of me buying my curtains and stuff like that. But I decided to do a DIY curtains for my living room because y'all, I did not realize curtains are so expensive. The ones that I was looking at for like four or five panels, they're going to run you about eight, nine hundred dollars. Like curtains are not cheap. So I came across this girl, her name is Everything Erin. I came across her Instagram page and she posts a lot of, you know, home decor, DIY content. I love her page, by the way, like her content is so dope. But she recently, she put out a tutorial on how to do DIY curtains on her IG. So I decided to, you know, give it a try myself. So I have some footage of me preparing the fabric and shopping for it. So I'm gonna insert a clip right now of me going to Hobby Lobby, shopping for the fabric and prepping the fabric and everything. So you guys can see how that process looked like. So anyways, let me quit rambling, girl. So here's a clip of me going to Hobby Lobby. Got some questions that I gotta ask and I hope you can come up with the answers, babe. Girl, it's easy to love me now. Would you love me if I was down? Hey y'all, so I'm currently looking for fabric right now for my curtain. I really want like um, a velvet material. 
so I'm in the fabric section right now I'm trying to see if I could find velvet material that I'm looking for hmm let me see it. So I'm looking for like a velvet material, like a material like this, my mom. Oh, okay. Well, but like something like this is not bad. Who is the cream Um, I want gray. Like a, mm. yeah, like a nice gray. I think a color like this. Yeah, I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna put nothing in between. Like, I'm gonna see how it's gonna look by itself. And then if I wanna add something, I will. But all the other videos, you think a color like this will look better? I think so. Hers was dark gray, but I mean, if this this is nice too. I like I like this color too. Yeah, it's a nice gray. Yeah, it's gray too, but it's like a light. I'll make sure to leave all the information down below. I'm not sure what this color is called, but yeah, it's not that much left. But, um, yeah, yeah. So I think I'm going to go with this one here. It's like a dark gray color, as y'all can see. And I'm going to need a lot of it. I plan on having about three or four panels. And I know each is going to be about three and a half yards. So hopefully it's enough. It doesn't look like... Yeah, I think it's enough, right? Yes, I think it's going to be enough. Yeah, it's going to be enough. Okay, so my mom, she found this one. I like this one too. Yeah, the couch. So what do you think, guys? This one? This one looks ugly. You don't like this? You said it's ugly? I vote for this one. You vote for this one? This one is lapel. Okay. I'm trying to... Yeah, I'm trying to like envision it in my head. Okay. You see? Yeah. Too dark. Yeah. This one will go too. This one's gonna look nice. And a lot of my stuff too, like my accents, I have gold. I think I might go with this, you guys. This is nice. And you don't see too many curtains with this That's pattern, right. too. Right. I think my mom found the one. I think you found the one, mommy. Yes. Yeah. All right. So I think I'm going to go with this one. You don't have a lot, mommy. You need to buy Yeah. I don't have a lot. Hey guys, so I'm about to go ahead and make my curtains. So remember I showed you guys I was at Hobby Lobby getting the material. So this is the cloth that I picked out and I'll try to leave the link to it down below the specific fabric that I got, but I think it is so cute y'all. I love the design and the color. I think it'll go perfect in my living room. I'm gonna leave the link down below to her IG page. I would highly recommend that you follow her page if you want to see more in-depth tutorial on how to do this. Don't follow me, y'all. But I'm just showing you guys my experience and I'm just vlogging all this. But anyway, so I got the curtain fabric here and I got four panels of these three and a half yards. I also got some drapery header. And I got everything from Hobby Lobby, by the way. So I also got about three yards of drapery header. And I also got some peel and stick fabric adhesive. I got two, I think two should be enough. And I also have an iron and scissor. So hopefully this should be everything that I need to create my curtains.
Oh, they came out so nice. I kind of closed the blinds so that you guys could see it better. Hopefully, you guys could get a clear view of how it looks like. Oh, these are so cute. And I'm so happy I decided to go with this color. This is the fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'll make sure to leave the link to it below to this particular fabric. But it's like... um. Now that it's hung up, it looks darker, but in person, it's like a dark beige color. And I'm so happy I decided to go with this color because initially I wanted to have gray curtains. I wanted to have dark gray curtains, but my mom advised me to go with this color because the gray probably would have darkened the room and make the room appear smaller. And I think she was absolutely right. I feel like this color is perfect. Now, I'm not going to lie. It did take me some time to hang these curtains up. And for some reason, they weren't creasing. Like, they wasn't folding in place. So, I kind of had to force it to fold. Like, I had to force the creases. So, I kind of <laughs> I took my flat iron. I have this skinny flat iron. And I just used it to create the creases so I kind of like went in and I just you know created the creases like that and it really helped y'all I really like how this came out oh I'm so excited who would have thought curtains would get me so excited <laughs> let me know what you guys think down below this style let me know what you guys think but I love it it's such a modern look it gives it a nice chic modern touch to the apartment but yeah y'all so that's the update on the curtains we got her up there we got her done so i bought a lot of home decor stuff they came in the mail a few days ago so i'm about to open them for you guys so i got some stuff from target amazon of course i got a housewarming gift so yeah i guess this is also going to be like a unboxing home decor haul video as well so let me go ahead and find a scissor i have so much boxes y'all hold on all right 
got my scissors. First up, Target. I got some stuff from Target. Okay, let's see. Damn, all of that for one item? <laughs> Finally. All right, y'all. Ooh. So the first thing I got from Target was this candle. I came across this particular scent on the website and it is called Vanilla Birch. Okay, there we go. It just focused. So this is the name of the candle scent. And I've seen so many great reviews online. So yeah, I decided to give it a try. Let me smell it. Ooh, that smells good. Mmm. Ooh, I'm excited to light this up. Ooh, I love me some candles, y'all. I really like vanilla-based scents in candles. It just smells so nice around the house. And I also like clean scents as well in my candles. I don't really like scents that have like a fruity slash sweet smell to it. Those kind of give me a little bit of a headache. So this scent right here... Mm, it's right up my alley. Oh, I'm excited to light this. I have another candle as well. This is actually a housewarming gift. Ooh, Le Labo. We getting a little bit more fancy. Thank you so much, Maya, for getting me this housewarming gift. If you're watching this, thank you so much. I really wanted a Santal 26 candle. So I was so excited when she got this for me. Oh, she left a little message on it. Congrats, sis. Oh, thank you. That was sweet. Get my scissor. Okay. So this is what the candle looks like. Oh, I got in the scent Santal 26. They have so many different scents in the Le Labo brand. Oh, this smells good. Okay, now this has more of like a woodsy scent to it. Mmm. I can't really describe the other notes that I'm smelling, but I could definitely smell like the woody note in it. This smells good. Mm. Okay. Okay. Let me open up the other stuff. So, next, I got some other pieces from Amazon. I bought some more home decor stuff from Amazon. Okay, so this came in. I know you guys have seen this before. This is like so trendy in like modern home decor. This is like a wooden knot. I think that's what you would call it. But um, yeah, I just felt like this would be a nice little touch, a nice little piece to add. Um, I plan on adding this on top of like my books. I have some home decor books, some fashion books. So I just feel like this will be a nice little touch to just put, you know, on top of the books. So yeah, that's kind of the vision that I have for this. I've got this Amazon box. Okay, so I also bought these as well. This is for my bathroom, actually. And I plan on putting this on top of my toilet. I actually bought two, one for the guest bathroom and one for the master bathroom. So yeah, I just plan on putting some essentials um, on top of my toilet. So I'm gonna put, you know, an extra roll of toilet paper here. I'm gonna put some wipes you know, for down there if you need it. I'm also gonna put some poopery. I bought a pack of this too. So, you know, when my guests come over, 
if you need to handle your business you know just make sure to lightly spray my toilet with a couple spritz of these so that you don't leave no no tracks okay <laughs> so yeah i just plan on putting this in both of the bathrooms have a nice little setup you know in the bed i think this would be so cute and i like the color it's like um silver slash grayish color so i think this will go with my decor so that is that oh i'm running out of space i have another box from target i picked up some more stuff from target the first thing that i bought was for my candle i saw this cute little candle holder and it's in like a matte gold color so i feel like this will go perfect with my decor and the whole theme so i'm most likely probably gonna put my le labo candle on top of this i think this will be so cute I also picked up some more hand wash. This is the one that I love to use is by the brand Method. This is their gel hand wash. And I really love this scent. This is in the scent Vanilla and Raspberry. But it's so weird. I never come across this particular scent in their actual Target stores. Well, not in my area, at least. I found them at Walmart but yeah i never seem to find them at target so i already have a bottle of this already but y'all this smells so good so when i came across the website i had to pick up another bottle i also picked up from target a bed throw this is by the brand casa luna and y'all i've heard so many people rave about their throw blankets and their throw for their bed. I've just heard so many people talk about how soft and plush their throw blankets are. So I really wanted to grab myself one. Now I got the hand knit bed throw, but this is not gonna be used for my bed. I plan on mostly using this on my sofa, you know, to have a nice little throw blanket for my sofa. So I'm probably gonna also get like a cute little basket to put in the living room area so that I could throw my throw blanket in it so yeah i didn't even open this yet and i could already tell like holding this and looking at it it already looks so soft like i can't wait to open this and actually feel you know what let me actually open this i wasn't gonna open it yet but i'm so curious This feels so soft. Oh my God, this feels so soft. I didn't even open it all the way yet. And just by me touching this part right here. Oh, I'm excited to open it and try it out. Oh, I can't wait to get my sofa. <laughs> oh my God, it's the little things, you know, you take for granted. And then when you, when you don't have it for a short period of time, you just, you're just reminded how essential it is. Like, I just miss having a sofa to lay on and just chill and watch TV. That's why I cannot wait to have all my stuff set up so I could just be chilling in my living room, watching television, be snuggled on my blanket with a glass of wine and some popcorn and a good ass show or a good movie. <sighs> Hopefully by this week, I'll have everything set up because i'm so ready for that but anyway let me open up my other packages i have some more stuff that i bought from amazon Ooh! all right y'all so i also ordered this book this is by ad architectural digest and i got their their book, one of their books. So of course I'm gonna use this as the core piece. I'm not sure yet where I'm gonna put it. I might put this on my coffee table or I have another console table that I might put this on instead. I'm not sure where this is gonna go yet. I got one last thing to unbox. 
Oh yeah. I forgot I ordered this as well. So I had ordered this as well, a round tray. So I plan to put this on my coffee table and just add, you know, little nice pieces in the middle. I think this would be so cute. I was worried that this would be too small, but this actually looks like the perfect size. Cause my coffee table is not really that wide. So this will be perfect. It's a leather material round coffee table tray and i also got this from amazon as well i'll make sure to leave the links to everything down below that i showed you guys but yeah this also was very inexpensive this was only like 20 dollars, and this looks cute okay so that's all that i have right now so I'm still waiting for more pieces to come that I ordered online, but that's what I got so far. So yeah, once I have everything, then I'm gonna, you know, put the pieces together and start decorating my living room. The sofa is really like the main thing that I'm waiting for. And my TV, I plan on bringing my TV in. Hopefully tomorrow I could have my tv hung up oh i also gotta shop for a rug i probably might go shopping for that tomorrow but yeah i still haven't found a rug piece to go in the middle besides the rug that's the last item that i need and then i should pretty much have everything that i need to decorate the space so yeah that that's the mission for tomorrow. Find a nice rug and hopefully a nice painting as well. So yeah, y'all, that is pretty much all that I got today. That's all the pieces that came in. But anyway, I'm just gonna chill right now. I'm getting kind of hungry, so I'm probably going to eat some lunch and I'll come back to you guys in a bit. home goods right now i got my mommy here of course <laughs> um so i'm looking for a good table lamp and sorry if the quality of this video is not all that it's because i am recording from my phone i forgot my actual vlogging camera but yeah anyway i'm also trying to look for a good painting for my living room something to go above my couch but the style that i'm looking for is modern i'm looking for a modern contemporary slash abstract kind of painting like something kind of similar to this something very abstract and contemporary but yeah i heard home good have some nice paintings so i just decided to give this section a look this don't look too bad it's not bad at all it might be a little too small for my living room space but i like the concept of this painting hmm, let me see what's behind here but yeah y'all i still haven't came across anything that i fell in love yet I'm still on the hunt. Oh, I see this. This is not too bad at all. I don't know. I feel like once I see it, I'll know it's it. And by the way, y'all, if you guys have any recommendations for home decor stores that sell nice paintings as well, you know, modern slash abstract, style paintings let me know in the comment section down below because your girl is struggling i'm really trying to find something you know like a nice piece nah this is definitely for my room this will go perfect in my bedroom oh <laughs> uh-huh 
Yeah, I'm gonna get that one. I really like it. Yeah, and it's, it's only how much? One thirty? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting this one. <laughs> just take it before someone because I, the other day I'm just left there. And I went to get that the car, the shopping cart, and I'm doing shopping and some shopping. Oh, someone took okay. it? Oh. Do so you? It's better if you're going to take it, take put it. it in there, the front, and let them know that Oh, so that they can hold it? Okay. Better. Yeah, I'm going to take this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I think I finally found the one. I just came across this style rug, and I really like the pattern. It has like a white and grayish pattern to it and i think this will go perfect in my living room and it'll coincide well with the rest of the furniture and my sofa and everything i think this will be good this the one y'all there's nothing you can tell me yeah when i had a job south street wealthy Pulling out the coop and the lot, calling for a club for a swap, buzzing all the bells out the box. I just hit the lid with the box, hit it with the stick in the box. Pour up the whole damn seal, I'ma get lazy. I got the mojo deals, people dreaming like. Good morning, you guys. So today is finally the day, y'all. That's why y'all see me smiling from ear to ear, cause my couch is coming. I'm so excited i actually just got the call they told me they are about two minutes away so i um just you know threw something on real quick uh i'm looking a little rough on camera i need to get my hair done y'all all i've been doing is just putting my hair back in like this little slick bun but y'all it's time for me to get my hair done i really miss my tape and hair extensions that's the hairstyle that i really want to get back into because your girl's missing it but my birthday is coming in a few weeks it's like in about three weeks so you know i'm gonna give my hair a little break and then i'll probably put the tape ins back in for my hair but yeah y'all sorry i'm just going on a little tangent i really need to get my hair done i'm looking so rough i also need to get my nails done I'm probably gonna get them done tomorrow because yeah your girl's looking rough but anyway my couch is coming so i'm so excited uh, and i also have a rug finally for my space i went to home goods yesterday i actually vlogged it yesterday so you guys saw um the rug that i found so once i get my sofa here and i put it together i'm gonna put my rug as well so hopefully they could come in and assemble the couch but they should be here any minute now i just opened downstairs for them so it's probably taking them a little bit of time to actually come up with the sofa but you know what let me go ahead and just open my front door so they could see where to come into I'm just gonna leave my door unlocked. So they finally came and dropped off the sofa. So it came in a two piece. I was hoping that they will put it together and assemble it for me, but they just literally came and dropped them off. So I don't know. I'm going to see if I could try to take it out the packaging myself and see if I could put it together. It's only two pieces, so it can't be that hard. Or, worst case scenario, I might probably call my dad over so that he could help me to put the couches together. But it shouldn't be that difficult to assemble it. So, yeah, y'all, it is finally here. So, once I'm ready to put it together, I'll check in with you guys so that you can see me putting the couch together. <laughs> 
a cow to just feel so good to just have a cow to just sit on oh this feels so nice y'all my first impression of this couch is I love it I really do love it I love the color as well it has a really nice color I actually think this color is perfect Cause remember in my last vlog, I was aiming to get a white couch, but this one, as y'all can see, it's not white. It has like a beige slash ivory color. And I think it actually ties in with the living room much better. If I had bought a pure white couch, it probably would have been too light. But with this particular color, I feel like it's perfect. I love this color and the rug as well is perfect uh i'm in love y'all let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the couch and by the way i bought this couch from livingspaces.com i forgot the name of the model but i'll leave it down below if you guys are interested in this style couch but it is the perfect size of course i took the measurements of the space to make sure that it would fit perfectly in this space but yeah this is perfect i love it hey y'all so it is later in the day right now and i'm gonna start preparing dinner i'm hungry i was thinking about ordering out like uber eats but i gotta stop doing that because that be adding up. So, I bought some veggie burgers from Costco and I've never tried it. So, I think I'm going to try it tonight. I bought these organic California veggie burgers. So, I'm going to give that a try and see if it's busting or not. <laughs> and I also got some corn. I got some corn on the cob. So, I'm just making something real light tonight for dinner. I'm the rookie in a bit. Shout out to the bitches I ain't holding down the set. All up in my phone looking at pictures. 
front of other nights. She gon' be upset if she keeps rolling to the left, dog. She gon' see some shit that she don't wanna see. She ain't ready for it. If I ain't the greatest, then I'm headed for it. Yeah, that mean I'm well. Yeah, six ain't friendly with the swear I am. But shit, a motherfucker lay up. I been Steph Curry with the shot, been cooking with the sauce. Chef Curry with the pot, boy. 360 with the wrist, boy. With the shits, I should probably sign a hit, boy, cause I got all that hits, boy. Fuck all that drink, you got a chill shit. I be on my little mouth trail shit. Fuck all that rap to pay your bill shit. Yeah, I'm on some rap to pay my bill shit. All the TV, I thought it made me richer. Wasn't paying me enough, I needed something quicker. So now I'm all in the basement, putting work in on the phone. Either that or try to money more than me. Hey y'all, so it is the next day and it is well into the day right now. It's like 4 p.m., 4.22 to be exact. So I got a couple of stuff done today. I went to the gym this morning. I got some editing done. So yeah, I was real productive this morning. I actually woke up really early this morning. But anyway, today I'm finally gonna add my finishing touches to the living room my tv is finally coming in today thank the lord so me and my dad we're gonna put the tv up i also have to unbox my tv stand so i'm gonna show you guys that and i also you know got some other finishing pieces that i'm going to add to the living room so i'll make sure to show all of that to you guys but quick side note my dresser for my bedroom actually came in today so i just want to show you guys real quick what my dress is looking like i didn't unwrap it yet because it did come in wrapped so i'm about to just open it up real quick and just take a look at the dresser to you know just make sure that it's in good condition so they literally just came like about an hour ago and they dropped off the dresser and it's pretty much the same style has my nightstand table so i pretty much have the set the two nightstands and the dresser so let me go ahead and open it man they put so much wrapping on this damn they really wrapped this thing Tight. Like this thing is sealed. Okay, I finally got the wrapping off of this baby. So this is what it looks like. It's a little bit shorter than I imagined. I thought it was going to be a little bit taller in height, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. It looks nice though. There's no damages on it. Looks like it was delivered well without no damages or scratches. It is a bit dirty, so I do have to clean it because there's a little bit of dust on it. But other than that, it looks good. Yep, looks good. So tonight I'm probably going to start unpacking my clothes so that I could start organizing my stuff. All right, y'all, I just wanted to show y'all what the dresser looks like. But all right, back to the living room.
Y'all, I am so in love with how my living room turned out. Like, what? <laughs> Y'all, this is a look, okay? I love how everything just tied in together. Y'all, I did that. I'm giving myself credit. I did that, okay? So the living room is not 100% complete yet. I would say it's about 90%. I still have some other pieces that I want to get and add to this space, especially over here. I've been on the hunt to find a good painting or, you know, just something that I could hang along this wall above the sofa, but I just haven't come across anything yet that I fell in love with. So I'm not going to just buy any old thing just to have to hang on this wall. So in due time, I know I will find something that I'm going to fall in love with, but in the meantime, this wall right here is bare and I don't think it looks bad. I feel like it could still stay like this in the meantime. But anyway, the sofa, like I said, I'm gonna make sure to leave the link to it down below. I got it from Living Spaces. I don't remember the style, but I'll leave the information down below. As far as the sofa cushion pillows, I actually stole it from my mom's house, <laughs> but I believe she probably bought this from either Target or Marshalls one of those stores. So when I saw this at the house, baby, I had to steal them. And as far as the coffee table, you guys already saw in my unboxing haul, I just added everything on top of the coffee table and I feel like it tied in very well. Now for the actual coffee table, I'll make sure to leave the link to it down below because some of you guys were asking me where I bought the coffee table from in my previous video. I got it from castlery.com i think that's how you pronounce it but i'll make sure to leave the link to it down below now baby let's get into this tv stand big shout out to homery.com for sending me this beautiful tv stand so their website pretty much have indoor and outdoor furniture and they have so many styles to choose from. They have a lot of modern contemporary styles and I fell in love with a lot of their items on their website. But I felt like this TV stand fit perfect in my living room. So when I saw it on the website, I had to have it. And my first impression of this TV stand is I love it. I love the style. It has a very minimalist, modern look. And also it was very easy to unbox and assemble. As you guys saw, me and my dad unboxed it. Well, my dad did majority of the work, to be honest, but I'm not gonna lie, this TV stand is really, really heavy. Just by looking at it, you wouldn't think it's that heavy. You would think it's really lightweight, but y'all, this thing weigh a ton so you definitely need two people to like unbox and assemble it but the whole process like i said was very easy it did not take my dad that long to put the finishing touches together because all he had to put together was the legs and the gold handles but let me just bring you guys closer what i really love about this tv stand is the tufting style doors. I feel like it adds a nice modern touch to it. And along with the doors, they also have these handles, these brass gold handles. And this is my favorite shade of gold. I don't really like yellow gold. You know, like yellow gold, I look like pea. I don't like that <laughs> shade of gold. I really like a dark gold, you know, like a brass gold so i feel like this was perfect for me and along with the handles the legs are also the same color like that brass gold color but yeah y'all i really love this tv stand it really goes well with my apartment and i felt like for me in this apartment i did not want big furniture because i just feel like whenever you have big furniture in a small space it's gonna make your space look even smaller. So I really wanted low profile, modern, minimal furniture. So I'll make sure to leave the link to this actual TV stand down below. And I also have a coupon code for you guys. So if you guys are interested in you know shopping for new furniture, whether it's indoor or outdoor, check their website out, y'all, because they have so many beautiful items. I 
plan on going on their website to shop for more stuff because I still need a couple more stuff. I need something for my patio and I need some stuff for my filming room. I plan on decorating my filming room next. So that's going to be a whole nother vlog. But besides this TV stand, y'all, I also bought another item from Homery. And this item, they did not send it to me. I bought these with my own coins. But these are their bar stools this is another item when i received it i was really really impressed now these came a bit earlier i received these about a month ago but yeah like i said i'm the one that ordered these and the delivery was quite quick as well for both of them for certain items on their website they have a 48 hour dispatch service so if you order a furniture item from their website they will ship it out within 48 hours so within that week you'll receive your furniture so their shipping process is lightning fast for a lot of their pieces but anyway y'all let's get back into this bar stool so the cushions are white it's like a ivory slash white color and it's like a leather material as well so it won't get dirty fast it's really easy to clean if you happen to have any spills on it you could just easily clean it one thing i was really concerned about was if it would feel comfortable to sit on but despite its stylish look it actually feel really really comfortable when you sit on it it has a nice cushion to it so that's one thing i was so happy about because I want, you know, when my guests come over for them to feel comfortable, even though I want nice, modern, stylish pieces, I do want it to be comfortable and functional. I don't like to have modern pieces that it just look good to look at, but they're not comfortable and they're not homey. So I'm just so happy that this gives me both. So I get the best of both worlds with these bar stools. I love the fact that these bar stools don't take up too much space because I didn't want to have bar stools that was going to take up my kitchen space. So I felt like this style was perfect because it allows for my space to still be open. So I will also make sure to leave the link to these bar stools as well. Like I said, my living room space is still not complete. I still have some finishing touches, but I will say for the most part, everything in my apartment is coming along quite well. But anyway, you guys, I am starving right now. So I'm about to get started on dinner and I'll check back with you guys in a bit. Hey y'all, so it is actually later in the day right now. It's like 8 p.m. I just got out of the shower and I also finished cooking dinner. I'm so proud of myself because this dinner came out so bomb and it tastes amazing. So this is my dinner for tonight. I cooked some baked sweet potato along with some baked salmon. And on top, I also got some scallions and shrimp and Brussels sprouts. Y'all, this tastes so bomb i'm about to f this up okay i'm starving right now and of course i got some wine and this is a new wine actually that i tried out i got this from my bright sellers wine subscription box they had a pinot noir in this month's box and this one is called main character it's a pinot noir blend and y'all it is so good i love red wine i love pinot noir so this is right up my alley but yeah, y'all, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog from here. After I'm done eating, I got some more editing to do. And then after that, I'm going to go to bed. So that is it for this vlog. You guys saw my living room. It's not 100% complete yet, but I would say it's about 90% complete. I still have a couple more pieces to get so that it could be all the way complete. But you already know, that's how home decorating is. It feels like you're always switching up things. You're always buying new home decor pieces. So if I were to wait until it's 100% complete, this vlog would never be up. So <laughs> I think I'm pretty good for the most part with my living room. So yeah, y'all, that is it for the vlog. I really hope that you all enjoyed this. And if you guys would like to see more home decor videos, more move-in vlogs, let me know down below because I don't want to just 
shove that content down your throat and bombard y'all with a lot of moving in videos but i do want to film the content for you guys so i could film you know my whole journey of decorating this apartment so if that's something that you guys would be interested in let me know down below if you guys want to see more videos like that comment down below and let me know so that is it i'm done rambling now i'm about to go eat so until next time i will see you in the next one bye guys mm.